Hello guys, welcome to Net Experts. My name is Adhan Shri Kapoor. So today we'll talk about classification rules and file management tasks in FSRM. So we already discussed about FSRM, but we have two topics left in FSRM. One is classification rules and file management task. So let's see how to configure classification uh, rules first and how to configure file management file management tasks. So let's start the lab, guys. So this is my system. So I have one DC. As you can see, this is my DC. And this is my member server. Okay. So I'm going to first install FSRM over there with the help of server manager. So I open server manager already and click on add rules. And simply click on next. Role business feature based installation. Click on next. Member server two. The IP address of member server two is 10.0.0.3. And in that, we have file and storage services expanded. Over there, we have file and NICE services expanded again. Over there, we can see. FSRM, File Server Resource Manager. So check this option to install FSRM. Click on Add Features. Click on Next. Click on Next again. And I just automatically restart this. Click on Install. So way far back, we discussed about FSRM. It's, it's, uh, so uh, in, in that FSRM, we discussed about quota management, file screening management, and all those stuff. So we have two topics left in that, Classif classification, rules and file management task. So I'll let you know once you install FSRM, so I'll let you know how to configure this and what is and what is the use of these these two these two features in FSRM. Let's wait for this for installation guys. So we successfully installed FSRM in member server two as you can see that now I just click on close over there. Okay. I minimize this. Now the concept is why we install FSRM, why we go for classification um, properties so we can say classification rules. So with the help of classification properties or classification rules in, in FSRM, what we can go for that we can we can you can say that protect our files as much as we can. Like you can say that like if, if you talk about the file file properties. So like imagine that I have a file over there in this folder. Like if I see the files over there in this folder. So I open my file explorer. Over there we have two files, test2 and test2. So I go to right click on the text2 text and we have to go to properties over there. Now once I click on properties over there we have the option details. Once I click on details over there. So as you can see that these are the properties we have. File name, type of file name, type of file, folder path, size, data, date created of this file, date modifier of this file, attributes on honor, who is the owner of this file and computer, where which computer or which uh, system is, is situated. Okay, so these are the properties of that. So if I need to create a new property and, and the files, okay, so we can use classification rules and classification properties. So with the help of two things in classification rule, class, classification in FSRM, we have first we need to create the property and then we can define the rules on the property. Okay, so with the help of properties, we can protect our file. With the help, with the help of properties, we can protect our files in file servers like imagine this is my file server we have so many files are there so i want to protect my uh, files with the help of properties file properties we can go for classification in fsrm so let's go for that now first i need to create the properties now a new property so i first open the fsrm so i go to start so i click on i don't tools over there and then in the in the down we can find fsrm file server resource manager after installing this rule so this simple click on open this file server manager so as you can see that we have we have covered these things quota management file screening management and storage reports now we'll talk about the classification management in classification management we have two things if i expand it over there we have two things classification properties and classification rules so now if i want to first first create the classification properties i want to create a new properties over there let's right click on that just wait Okay, now I double click on the classification uh, properties. Just right click on that. We have the option create a local property. Okay, we have by default properties which is automatically created. Okay, so if I want to create a new property, we can go for create a create a local property. Click on this, create a local property, and over there we can define the property. Which type of which type of property you want to define? So we need to define first the property name. So I go for in my side. I go for property one, this is my property one. 
and I give the description. If you want to give the description, you can go for that. Okay. Now we have a property type. We have so many property types we have. Date time property, number property, multiple choice list property, order list properties. Okay. We have so many properties are there. So for demo purposes, I just choose yes or no properties. Okay. So I just create the property over there. We have a yes or no properties are there. Okay. And then click on okay simple so this is what we have to create the properties as you can see that we have one property is created the property name is property one and we have a uh, file classification is shows in the file this is used for file classification and the type is yes or no now possible values is yes or no now we go for now after the need to create the classification rules so once i click on classification rules just right click on that we have the option create classification rules i'm going to create a classification new rule now, what type of rule I, I want to apply this property? Okay, so with the help of classification rules, I want to apply the rules. So first I need to go for rule name. So this will go for uh, rule one and it should be enabled. So my rule is enabled. Now I just click on scope. Now where I want to apply this rule. So I want to apply this rule on, on, my, on one of my folder. So my folder name is users data. Okay, in C drive. So I'll showing you in, uh, I just go in my C drive over there. We have the option uh, users data. As you can see that I'm down here, the user data fo a folder is there. We have uh, some documents are there. It means I have some text files are there. I want to apply this rule on this. So just click on users docs. Okay. So it's automatically taking the scope. The, the Now after you go for classification. Now classification, we need to go for choose over there. Um, folder classification, choose a method to assign a property to the files. So I want that. I want to apply this classification to the folders. After that, you automatically apply this classification to the files. Okay. So now I use property property one over there and the specified value is yes. So what I want to that, I want that I want to apply this classification property and, and this classification rule on a particular folder, which we, which, uh, which I showing you the users docs, which we added over there in the scopes. Okay. So this is what we have. I want to do. Now I go for evaluation types. So evaluation type is that now, if you if you uh, create the the new files after apply this property to the folder, so it's okay. It's automatically apply on the files on this property is automatically apply on the files. But if you have a older files already exist in the folder, so I want that you need to reevaluate you uh, existing property values also. So I want that you need to uh, you need to override the existing values. You can see that okay, or we can go for uh, aggregate the values. So we can go for default. You can see that. So what I want. If I have a file which is already exist before, which is already exist or already, okay. So we can apply this properties on the on this particular uh, on that particular files also, okay. Fine. So the older files also you can see that the, uh, once you apply this property after that you can create the new files that properties automatically apply to the files. But what in case you have already file which is created in the in that particular folder? So if you want to apply this property. Or this classification rules on a on a, an existing files also. So then you can go for this option. Okay. Now once you click on OK, so as you can see that I'm I'm configured the rules also. So as you can see, this is my rule which which I already configured. Okay. Now I go to file management task after that. Now what I want to do now I, now I want to uh, create one file management tasks. I want to apply some tasks. Okay. So I just right click on that and go to create file management task over there. Now I want to apply this uh, uh, this classification properties and rules with the help of file management task also. So this is when we have a task name. So go for task one. I want to enable this task. Now click on scope again. I want to apply this task again, the same folder. Okay. So I go for there and I go for down. This is the task I want to go for that user docs. Click on okay. Now I click on action over there. So over there, so show me the action. So action is that what type of action you want to apply. Okay. So I want that if I want to go for file expiration, file expiration means when my file is expired. Okay. So my user is not able to access that file. Okay. So I can apply these properties and rules with the help on, on the file expiration. Okay. So we can define now a file expiration where we can go for that. You go to browse over there. And uh, I want that the same. We have user docs. I want to apply this the same. Now notification over there. If you want to provide the notification, so you click on add over there. So we have the notification also. You can even you can go for email messages. Okay. So 
specify what notification you generate before running the task advanced notification in 15 days so it gives you the notification before 15 days when the run, when the task is running okay so i want that i want to uh, send and warning and events okay i want to uh, enable this i want that it's warn me when once it start running uh, the this this uh, uh, i mean you can say that this task okay and uh, before 15 days as you can see that advanced notice notification 15 days so i go for by default okay now let's click on okay so as you can see that 15 days before running okay so day day before running it shows me when it starts running okay so it's uh, tell me before 15 days now let's go for report now now reports you have so it makes all automatically reports okay for me so you can go for generate the reports and everything over there now what we now we can set the conditions what condition you want to apply this this property on the files so we can define the condition like okay i want that days since file was created days since file was last modified and days since uh, file was last accessed so i want that if any file not accessed till 30 days okay so it's automatically moved that files to the it, it automatically uh, uh, you can say that consider that file as expired files okay fine so this is the property condition i can set over there so i can add this condition over there so you can say that i can add this condition so property condition is property one and equals to yes yes if condition this applies this property is automatically applied to the file let's so simply click on okay like this so what what i give the condition if i am not access my file last 30 days okay so what happens that file is automatically expired this is what we have to apply the condition now we can go for schedule option also so we have a schedule option also we can schedule the, the schedule this management task also okay like imagine that i want to uh, schedule this task uh, you can say that 6 6 pm okay every sunday every sunday 6 pm this uh, a file management task is run and it checks the files which is not accessed since last 30 days if it, if, if it checks once okay and what happens in that case if we found any file so it automatically uh, move that files to over there in this folder so I, I i don't give the file expiration folder i need to give that another path okay so go to browse over there so i have a one uh, you can see that i have one expired folder name is there expired docs Okay, now I, what I want, I want that if any file which is not accessed uh, uh, more than 30 days, that file automatically moved to expired docs, expired docs. Okay, so what's, what I could give there? So action is this and notification, I give the notification 15 days before when this task is running and the reports and then condition, I can define the condition. Okay, condition is days since file was last accessed. Okay, so if 30 days, is more than 30 days when file is accessed that file is automatically moved to expire docs and this is the schedule so every sunday it checks all my files in this location in this location checks all the files if you found any file which is not accessed more than 30 days so what they do it moves this file to expired docs okay this is what we have this is what how we can apply so let's simply click on okay after that Okay. And if you want to edit this task, you can edit the ta edit the file management task properties also. If you want to edit edit something, if you want to edit anything in this task, okay. If you want to disable this file management task, you can disable the file management task also. Okay. If you want to delete this task, you can delete this task also. Okay. So this is the way how we can go for that. So we already scheduled this task on Sunday. So when Sunday comes, it checks all my files in the user docs. Okay. And we can go for that. Like scheduling option is already we set our scheduling option. So weekly every sunday it checks at 6 pm that if i have any file which is not accessed last 30 days or th more than 30 days like this okay so this is the way guys how we can implement classification management and file management task in fsr in server 2019 that's it for this uh, for this session guys i hope you will understand this session please like and share this session with your friends and please subscribe to the channel for more technical videos like this thank you very much guys for watching